New York Giants. Big Blue. Welcome to the Draft Series, baby. I'm Two-Tone Sports on this grueling grind of giving a draft grade to every single NFL team in a separate video. Not only do I give you mine, I give you Mel Kuyper Jr.'s and I give you PFF. Both. You have to pay for those articles to see. I say screw them. I'm giving it to you for free. So, like I said, two-tone sports here. Appreciate any and all support shown to the channel. That being said, I am a New Jersey native. A lot of my friends are Giants fans. A lot of my friends, we talked about this draft. Giving you my honest opinion, I have to disclose. I am a Chargers fan, so please bear with me. But I am a fan of the NFL, and I like to give fair grades and fair opinions. So, with your first overall pick, you traded up one pick, and you grabbed Deontay Banks. If you guys saw my mock drafts, I said this guy was the home run pick for you. So, physical press corner, absolute burner in the combine. Excellent quick feet and lateral agility for a taller corner. Plays with an aggressive mindset. Excellent motor and is the 2023 class most reliable tackler at corner on tape. Okay, his tech needs to get a little bit better, but you're not going to beat his speed. His comp is Byron Jones. Okay, post-draft, Giants need to add talent and depth at corner to match up with the talented receivers they see in the NFC East. Adoree Jackson missed seven games, didn't have an interception, and has the fifth highest cap hit for a corner this year. In addition, four players had as many interceptions as the Giants, six last year. Banks isn't a playmaker, but he has the tools to develop into one. What is his year one impact? High impact day one starter. The Giants' top need is an outside corner, and Banks with a six foot two size and a four three eight second forty yard dash is exactly what they were looking for. This is an awesome pick for the Giants. Like I said in all of my mocks, this was the home run pick. This is who I saw falling to them. And you guys got it. Look at that second round pick. Giants fans, man. You guys were electric on draft night. <clears throat> Six foot four, 300 pound center out of Minnesota. Schmitz is a powerful drive blocker who finishes at a high rate. Effective zone blocker. Gets set quickly. Rewraps his hands. Rarely gives up ground on bull rushes in pass protection. Come on, look at his comp in Creed Humphreys. Oh, Creed Humphreys in the second round. Mod on. Holy shit. This is an excellent pick in terms of value and filling a need. Schmidt steps into the starting center role day one and has the talent to stay there for years if he stays healthy. Hey, Giants fans, if you guys were reading mock drafts, this kid was also projected to you in the first. You may see a trend here, right? Why? Oh, that's crazy. Jalen Hyatt, the speedster out of Tennessee, explosive playmaker, burst to quickly eat up cushions in a second gear to blow by your mom in the secondary. Okay, He's at his best running down the deep ball. He's not an ankle breaker. He's not going to break many tackles. He's kind of on the small side. He doesn't drop the open pass, but man, does his speed make up for it. He's good after he gets the ball in his hands. Don't expect him to run through guys, but whoa. Look at his comp, Will Fuller. Couldn't have said it better myself. Giants signed Jamison Crowder, Paris Campbell to complement Darius Slayton. However, Sterling Shepard's coming off a torn ACL. Galladay's out. Thank freaking God. That was tough. And they traded Kadarius Toney, which you guys turned into Darren Waller. Awesome. Hyatt is a vertical threat who will make it tough to load up against the run and rotate the coverage to Slayton's side of the field. Guess what? Big blue. You guys had him in the fucking first round again. Three prospects that you guys got that were projected to you in the first round. 
What? That's wild. Then you got Eric Gray. Got to tone it down a little bit, right? Can't keep it up. Um, those standards. That's crazy. Gray's an efficient one-cut runner who sticks his foot in the ground, gets north to sat as soon as he can, hits the seam, 5'10", 207 pound. Nothing wrong with grabbing a young depth at running back. I like this next pick too, actually. Trey Hawkins. Look, two years start at Old Dominion, picked off two passes, but he's tall. Look at him, six foot three, 195 pounds. Maybe a little reach, but you got to reach for the height. Look at that shit. Crazy. Then you go defensive tackle out of Oregon. Can't complain. Seventh round pick. And then you went to the safety out of Houston. Lean safety, best read in the QB. He's pretty much going to play over the top, right? Active run defender, doesn't shy away from contact. Is what it is. Hey, Giants fans. Welcome to the very limited list that I give out that you guys have officially earned. An A+. Plus. Giants fans, you got an A-plus from me. Giants, you slayed this damn draft. Holy crap. Why? First round mock to you guys. You need a receiver. You need an interior alignment. First round mock to you guys. Deontay Banks. I even said was a home run pick to you guys. First round mock to you guys. Do you want me to do it again? Because I'm not. I'm not going to embarrass myself for the third time. But that's an A-plus, baby. I go to Giants games. That's going to be fun to watch. A-plus to you, Big Blue. Let's see what Big Mel has to say about you guys. With that, oh, I think I just punched myself in the face with that, oh, that nasty hair flow that he's got. Let's see. Oh, I think I just punched my, literally call myself in the eye there. That's crazy. Mentioned this Friday night, but the Giants landed three of my top 45 prospects in the first two days. Cornerback Deontay Banks was consistently impressive when I watched his 22 tape, and he stuck to receivers and man coverage. He is both experienced. He started eight games as a freshman and 42-inch vertical leap at the combine. We could slot him in as a starter on the other side of a Dory Jackson. John Michael Schmitz, top-ranked center, fills a huge hole. Going to start as a rookie. Dabble helped to make a trade up for Jalen Hyatt, who is rated as the number 44 player in the class. Remember Jalen Hyatt from his five touchdown catches from Bama? If you don't, you didn't watch college football. But he can fly the slot. Surprised to see he was there in round three. He likes running back Eric Gray as a potential steal on day three. He is not a burner, but he can be a one cut back behind Saquon. And Owens is an intriguing in round seven, this class is lifted up by the first three picks, which all fit positions of need. Exactly what I said. What does he give you? How the hell do you give an A minus after saying they slammed their first three picks? <sighs> Mel, 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 Mel. I punched myself in the eye for you pretty much. <sighs> PFF, baby. Give me something better than that. Third best corner on PFF's board. I'm going to assume it was behind Witherspoon and Gonzalez. So, 4-3-5-40, produced a 72 PFF grade in his final season in Maryland. Elite athlete, proven that he can mirror wide receivers in college and has the size teams look for in the position. Mm. Day two. Giants had made this pick in the first round. Nobody would really have batted an eye. Led all centers with a 92.3 PFF grade in 22 and had graded well both on zone and gap plays. Big guy but can really move and was a four-year starter. Simply put, he's one of the best running blo run blockers at the position to enter the draft in recent years. Home run. Damn. Golly. Let me shift this way a little bit. Hyatt won the Belitnikoff Award as the top wide receiver in college. Averaging 18.9 yard reception. Wow. And scoring 15 touchdowns. Five of which came against Alabama, as you guys know. He's a burner on the outside that needs some refinement, but has all the athletic ability necessary to excel the next level. 40-yard dash, vert, and broad were above the 85th percentile. 
Giants added a much-needed weapon. Gray was impressive, posting a 96.2 elusive rating, which was one of the best marks in the running back class. Uh, another special teamer. Whoa, you see that, huh? Look at that little bitch. Look at that little bitch smiling at you on the bottom. Golly. Riley's a huge inside presence at six foot six, 325 pounds, but has never graded above a 65.7 in college career. Maybe he's a late bloomer. Who knows? Holy shit. Owens missed 17.8% of the tackles he attempted. You're lucky he's a seventh round pick. Oh, my Lord. That's an A-plus for the big blue on PFF. Oh, boy. I don't know if I've seen an A-plus on PFF yet, and I'm like two-thirds, three-quarters through the teams now. Whoa. Giants fans, baby, you better make some noise in the comments section below. What do you guys feel what is your draft grade? What, if anything, do you wish they did differently? Once again, I'm Two-Tone Sports, here to bring you some jazz, you know? But Two-Tone Sports here. Appreciate any and all support to the channel. Let's go, Big Blue, baby. Once again, thank you all for watching and hope to catch you next time.